Hello there, welcome to a sketchbook tour. I finished this sketchbook a long time ago, but I finally got around to filming it now. It is my gouache slash painting sketchbook. I, the way I keep sketchbooks, I usually have one that's just dedicated to drawing stuff and then one that's just dedicated to painting. Because when I have like mixed media sketchbooks, I feel so precious about the paper because it's like, oh, it's so thick and nice. So like, I don't let myself use it for just sketching and I only feel <laughs> justified in using it if I'm painting something. So then it takes me a long time to fill. Anyways, so this sketchbook, it's a Canson mixed media sketchbook. Here's stuff about it, if you want. I started it in January of 2019, and I finished it a few months ago, but it's March of 2022 now. But I definitely finished it late 2021. So basically this took me three years to fill, and basically the sketchbook is me figuring out how to paint with gouache, and it became one of my favorite mediums. So that's epic. Um, here, I always just keep napkins in my sketchbook and also these clips for when I'm painting to like clip the pages down and also because I paint on both sides to prevent from bleeding through or with gouache it just like when you paint on one side spoilers <laughs> when you paint on one side and it, it like gets the other side wet and then it just like bleeds or something anyways that's why I have napkins and clips to clip stuff when I'm painting here is a random watercolor thing of a pumpkin that I did that I just stuck in here. I think in 2019 when I started this, I like used it really little. So there's not that much from 2019. The beginning kind of sucks. But in 2020, because of quarantine, I went through like a major gouache painting phase and that's when I did most of this sketchbook. Okay, starting off, this is the beginning of 2019. I drew my desk. My desk looks so different now. Some anatomy studies. This was with like alcohol markers, which I just like never use anymore. I gave all of my markers away because I never use them. I really liked this sketch when I did it. I think the anatomy is a bit off, but I still like it. This was just like the sketch for that drawing, I think, that I put in here. This was done in acrylic. I don't really know what I was doing. Beluga whale. More acrylic studies. Yeah. More acrylic landscapes. I wasn't that good at using acrylic in terms of color mixing and stuff. Watercolor. This is just like a acrylic painting without reference, which is why it looks so bad. I do this when I just have like extra paint on my palette and I feel bad about wasting it. This one, it got like smudged from the other page, but I liked it a lot when I first did it. It was like sunset with Copic, or not Copic, I don't have Copic. Alcohol markers and colored pencil. And then some bird, magnificent, 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 magnificent bird, date bird, forget bird. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce. They're pretty cool. Okay, this is when I first got gouache, and I was really bad at the beginning. This is an ink drawing of my plant. They we're already at the end of 2019, so like, 2019 takes up like this much of this entire sketchbook. This was me trying to do more gouache. I was improving. Um, this is when I went camping, and then I was drawing, or painting stuff. More of that. I liked the way I was using color to get the rocks. It's my dad and my sister. Life drawing. Wow. Um, this is really ugly. We don't need to look at that. I got, like, this mushroom field guide from, it's like the Smithsonian one, I think from the library and I, I love the way they're formatted. They look up, they have like a vintage kind of feel or something. But I just like drew stuff straight from that. And I really like the look of these pages. I love like field guide kind of looking sketchbooks. Yeah, I just love the look of mushrooms when it's got like the inking over the top and just like all the notes. I mean like my gouache painting isn't that good here, but it doesn't matter because the inking looks cool. <laughs> um, this is a different camping trip. There's like Sand. There's like texture on this thing because it was really windy when I was doing this, I remember. And they, it was just like there was sand in it, so yeah. More mushrooms. This time I didn't ink it, and I think that made it less good. At this time, I was using just like art, what's the Michaels brand? Artist Loft gouache in like the tubes. So I was still like not using enough paint. 
in acrylic painting. This is like the big time jump from April to August 2020. So this is, we just grab it, I need to look at this. This is when I started my Studio Ghibli redraw or painting, repaint phase. This took me so long to do. Like, there's so much detail in this. I remember this took me hours and I was like, wow, this is taking so long. Um, yeah, so these are all like days apart versus like these all being like months apart. This is when I started actually using the sketchbook more. There's another studio that they redraw a watercolor whale. I really like the way this looks. More the inking than the watercolor. This was so tragic it smudged after I finished it. I didn't finish the hand here because I just gave up. But if we ignore the anatomy of the face, like the shading here I think is good. The face is a bit off. I like these. It's so fun to do like traditional inking and then just like random splotches of paint. I love inking like the look of an inked octopus. Like this little, what are they called? What are they called? Suction cups? Is that really what they're called? There's no way. Suction cups? Okay, whatever. Inking suction cup and just like line weight. I was trying to get some good line weight in here. Yeah. In the beginning when I was using gouache, like it's so dark because the base layer I would just make it really dark and then I couldn't get back to being light because gouache is just not like perfectly opaque. And then when you add more white, it just like dulls the color. This is when I first got the Himi uh, something, the jelly cup gouache set. Oh, Artex, it's art by Artex. And like the, the difference in the colors is so obvious. It's just like so much brighter once I started using that. I think just cause I had a greater selection of colors and like brighter colors to use. Like here it's just like, I use so many primary colors. Oh, this is from Princess, Princess Mononoke, by the way. And then this is a Spirited Away redraw, repaint, study. Study, that's the word I've been looking for. There's like a bench here, I think, in this image that I just didn't include. More Studio Ghibli. These were so fun. I was like, I did one of these and I was just like, I'm having so much fun right now. Like, I love the greens. Just like, it's so fun. And like, it doesn't take much thought because you're just copying something, but it still looks good. And I was like, this is so fun. I'm having fun doing art right now. I like the purple shadows and like the little flower details. After I got this set, my colors just got so much better. Like look at this difference here. This picture did so well on Instagram. <laughs> and I really love this one too. This one did so well on Instagram. And then I was like, wow, I love this. This is great. I'm having a good time. But yeah, I love House Moon Castle. This is from Ponyo, and I love the way this turned out. Like, it gives me Van Gogh kind of vibes, or just like, oh, I just realized there's something written in my hand. Whatever. Yeah, I love the painterly look of this. I don't even know how to describe it, but I just love it. This is from Kiki's, Del Kiki, Kiki's Delivery Service, obviously. I don't think, I don't like this one as much. The colors are very literal. This was from a photo I found on Pinterest. I could have done better. It had like a more, I don't, I don't think I got the vibe from the photo. Um, here I went to the park and I painted from life. This one's like really detailed. I don't think I do colors as good <laughs> from life. Like there's so much green. There's, it's just like not balanced. I just added random colors. Um, this is also at the park messing around. This is like the my like blanket or something, but I did it in weird colors for some reason. Some rare non-painting. All the colors suck in this painting now because there was gray underneath it. The neck on this painting got really weird, but I like the shading on the face, if you ignore that. This one was also me covering something up. I, for I think I was trying to paint like some sunset landscape thing and it was just bad, so I covered it up. I like these paintings. This is from a photo on Pinterest. I think the girl's face is like a weird, but this cow is so cute. Like, look at his little face. It's so cute. I don't know why I was starting like in gray here. It was kind of a weird decision on my part. This person's face is like kind of skewed. I like the purple and yellow like shading though. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, here starts my second big phase of gouache painting, which was gouache mushrooms. So first I did Studio Ghibli and that got me very excited about painting and then mushrooms, let me tell you, Frog dude. This is so, I like this. I really like this painting. I like the colors. I think the picture I was following, I changed the colors a lot. The richness of the red or just that shade of red I like. 
yeah so i did more mushrooms these are so highly saturated and i love that i love how bright it is even though it's so just like it's so unrealistically bright but i like it um ooh, these are fun yeah portrait studies this is diana silvers and this is chloe moriando i love the colors in this image i think I can't take credit for this because the photo, the colors were already really cool, so I just painted them, but I like the colors. And then this one, I feel like I got like the sunny lighting kind of vibes that were in this image. I love the look of like rough painted wash portraits. This one's kind of fun. It's like way messier. Yeah. Here, I was going to start a painting. This is just like my underpainting for the background, but then I was like, this is so pretty. I don't want to paint over it, so I just kept it. <laughs> yeah. Who's an eye? Wow, crazy. But you, you never would have guessed that without me telling you. I think I was just experimenting with color. There's like a certain YouTuber. I'll put it in editing. But they have a video where it's like gouache painting and then I think there's like an eye in the thumbnail and they use like really colorful something. I was inspired by that for this. This painting I really love. I love the way this frog looks. I don't know how I got the shading. Like it looks so 3D to me and jelly-like. I, I like didn't finish painting it, but I was like, wow, this is great. And the shading of like these little white spots, I love that too. I just like, I like this painting a lot, even though it's like really unfinished. It, I just like the vibes. Feels like a jelly frog, like frogs do. Frogs are jelly, yeah. I just like <laughs> couldn't be bothered to put in the pupils. These I did because I had like a bigger painting I was working on and I made I, I painted these skulls really colorful and I really liked it. So then I was like, let's do more. And that's what these are. This is also practicing for my bigger painting. I, I'll put it on the screen. Here's a crow slash raven. I think it's a crow. Uh, I was just copying a picture, a photo, but yeah, I like how, I think I improved a lot at copying from photos in not doing the colors literally and like adding my own interpretation to the colors. I was copying a regular photo, but I interpreted the colors to make it look cool. Or at least, I think it looks cool. That's all that matters, really. I love this painting. <laughs> I, I love, I don't, is this a peony? That's what it is, right? A peony flower? I love how fluffy they are. They might be one of my favorite flowers. I don't know that much about flowers. Yeah, I love how fluffy they are. So they're really fun to paint because I feel like the brush texture, it, it works with that. And the colors too. I like the colors. Like that really magenta -y dark and then dark purple go together well, I, I reckon. I reckon. Okay, this frog, yeah, I remember it's the <laughs> painting. This was the first time I did an Instagram reel and I was like, how does this work? But then it did well, so I was like, wow, I should do more. The white highlights really work for this painting. It's all shiny. Also, the texture of like the frog skin through like brush strokes, that's pretty cool. This is a from a photo that I liked and I was like, let's paint that. I was having so much fun painting in this period of time, which is so nice. Yeah, possum, opossum. They're called opossums. Possums are a different thing in New Zealand, I think. A whale. Oh, something I figured out that I like doing is to do an underpainting in like the opposite color of the main painting color. This isn't exactly the opposite, but like if I'm doing a cool painting, I'll do like a really warm undertone and then it like shows through a little bit and I like the look of that. Normally, even if I'm doing a warm painting, I do a warm underpainting. So maybe it's not that. Maybe I just do a warm underpainting no matter what. I really like this painting too. Apparently I was just into painting animals in this period of time. Yeah, so this one again, I did like a warm underpainting and I think that really helps with the greens. Like it can't, I don't know. It, it makes it look good. I don't know the words. A maned wolf. Maned wolves are cool. Yeah, this is just a, photo of someone that I saw on Pinterest. Yeah. I did this really quickly. I think I did this in like 30 minutes because I, I recorded it. Yeah. And then I did more portrait studies from Pinterest. I was just like figuring out how to paint skin. I like to do purple shadows a lot, I've noticed. Another mushroom thing, mixing it up. Um, this one I was trying to see. I was like, this is a sketchbook. Why am I putting so much effort in? I want to finish this sketchbook. So I was like, let's do something. Let's see what I can do in 10 minutes. So I had a photo reference and I, this is what I did in 10 minutes. And it all like bleeded into each other because I couldn't let it dry, obviously. But it looks cool, I think. Pretty cool. And then I just did more like really quick paintings. This one was 15 minutes. 
which somehow it turned out so much better than this one. I don't understand. I think this one was also probably like 15 to 20 minutes. Just like rough stuff. Filling a sketchbook to fill a sketchbook. More mushroom, an inky cap boy. It, this feels like so cartoony, this painting. And then here I remembered, oh, salt and watercolor are cool. So let's, I was experimenting with that. I feel like I did this more for like the texture, physical texture for me, myself, me, myself and I, than for the look of it. So then this painting I use salt in. You can kind of see like the weird texture bits, but I just like feeling it. I like touching it. This painting I really like. I think I did a good job. This one I kind of left unfinished because I, I wasn't feeling it. This one, I don't really like. I think, I don't know. The anatomy is a bit weird. It just looks weird to me. I think I made the face, like the shadows too dark. It's like, something's wrong with it. I don't like it. <laughs> um, this is another mushroom. Same old, same old. I like the way the underpainting looks here. And I'm just like my, I just like put random blobs of color anywhere. This one I did a video of. I like this video. I like these paintings too. I think they're good. Check out the video. I'll put it here. Oh, this was oil. I went through a brief two-day phase where I was like, let's do some oil painting in my sketchbook. I, di I did one in a different sketchbook, but this is what I did in here. I think oil is actually pretty similar to gouache in the way I use it, but I like shading skin with oil. More mushrooms. Ooh, these are fun. I really liked this painting when I did it. I think I, I use like, it looks different than my other mushroom paintings. It's more watercolory, I think. I was trying to be more intentional, I think, or I use more layers or something. I was doing something. When it like overlaps like that and it has that, it was the same thing I was talking about with the frog, that like translucent kind of feel or like 3D kind of feel maybe. Yeah, this one, I was copying a photo and then I just didn't finish. These were two like unfinished ones as well. I just wasn't feeling as much. This one I think was from life. This was from a photo. Ooh, this one was also in a video and it was when I got my Princess Mononoke, Mononoke, Mononoke art book and I did some studies from it and I loved these. And I was like, let's do some more Studio Ghibli, you know? I'm like learning how to paint by seeing how they paint, which is different than copying from a photo. Copying from a painting versus copying from a photo, you know? Yeah, I like these a lot. You should watch my video on them. Ooh, I like this mushroom. Also the colors are cool. I like the, I like this color with this kind of pink. I think I just added more detail to this painting, like I actually finished it. I was just like not finishing paintings for a while there. This is from some person on Pinterest and yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the skin tones. I think I I tend to go really pink on skin tones I'm seeing here. This is so purple, like skin shouldn't be purple, but it doesn't look that terrible, so. Oh, this, I really like this one. This is of Tamino, yeah. <laughs> I liked this photo, or yeah, I saw this photo on Pinterest and I really liked it, so I painted it, and then I liked this painting. I like, I like this painting, yes. I think with my gouache paintings, they tend to just be like off on anatomy, because I don't do a sketch first. I just like do the underpainting and I start with like shapes in paint, but I think this one's a bit less off than most of them. Like, I don't know what it is, but so many of my gouache portraits, it's just like, they are so anatomically off, whatever. Um, this one, I don't know. I don't have anything to say about it. I just didn't finish it. I was copying a photo. Yeah, same old, same old. This is more photo studies. I think this is the last page. I was trying to like experiment stuff, but I just like, I didn't have the energy to finish anything when I was doing it. I did these all in like one day. This one, this one, and this one. And I just like didn't have the energy to finish them. So I was just like experimenting. This is a tomato if you can't tell. I was, I don't know what I was doing. I think the in the photo, it was like a weird colored tomato, but I made it weirder. And then there's like a few more pages, but I just like didn't paint anymore. And now it's been months. <laughs> so I consider this finished. And yeah, that was my sketchbook. This much was 2019. Okay, this is 29, all of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. And then this is like the end of 2020. This is basically just August to the end of 2020. And then this is, this is everything else. It's been like a while since I finished this now, so I can see more of the flaws than when I first did it. Yeah, gouache painting was super fun, and this is the sketchbook that I did it in, pretty much. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing the process of any of these, most of them are on my TikTok, at ched.art. Thank you for watching. 
if you watched to the end, thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great week and a great month and a great life. I forgot year. A great year and a great life. And yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye.